<笑>いいね宇佐間の姿が実にいいね Getting the chance to play Fairy Tale 2 early for a preview came with some hesitation. On the one hand, I'm a big fan of Gus JRPGs and Fairy Tale. But on the other, licensed games don't always turn out the way we'd hope. However, unlike other IPs, I feel like the Fairy Tale Guild has the potential to break free from the pages of manga and tell new adventures within their world. Sadly, an original story isn't what we got in Fairy Tale 2, but it's at least prepared to bring some raw emotion by retelling the Alvarez art. After playing the opening hours of Fairy Tale 2, it's clear there's a lot of game to explore here, but like many other Gus titles, you'll need to sit through a long winded opening to find it. <laughs> Fairy Tale 2 wastes no time throwing you into the action with a combat tutorial opener. The battle system evolves further than shown in these moments, but the basics have you launch normal consecutive attacks to gain SP and unleash magical abilities that utilize SP. Abilities are learned across an unlockable skill tree, including party boosts and other bonuses. Acquiring new skills may also require materials, so it's not overly simplified. Honestly, the game feels like it belongs to the Atelier Mysterious Book series. There's these enormous towns void of citizens and markers leading you exactly where you need to go at all times. This isn't necessarily bad though. You'll likely want this game to be a little hand holdy in the beginning before it throws the challenge at you. There is some depth to the combat as it relies on exploiting enemy weaknesses using magic. You can enter a strategy menu during combat to customize the party skills and learn enemy weaknesses. But it feels like it becomes more involved later on in the game. During the opening hours, I got through most of the fights without issue. That said, if the Atelier series has shown us anything, it's that these systems continuously evolve across the game. The narrative missions are all relatively straightforward, leading me to believe this game is all about the adventure at hand. The interconnected world is enormous, with branching paths and dungeons. I found the environments to be distinct in their themes, but another issue that Gust has. Has creeped up in this game. For some reason, enemies only like to hang out with their own kind. It's never a variety of enemies, it's always a group of the same. I hope this isn't something that becomes a trend leading into the other areas of the game, but it is like that in the beginning. That out of the way, Fairy Tale 2 is kind of charming. It's nostalgic in a way in its PS4 era design choices, but while that's a comment of endearment for me, Others might see it as a negative. In the case of Fairy Tale 2, I feel like this is the kind of game that we do need right now. But with the release of Visions of Mana, Romancing Saga 2, and Metaphor Re Fantasio, I feel like JRPG fans might sit it out after the busy holiday season. Am I having fun playing Fairy Tale 2? Yeah. From what I've played, there's a decent game loop here, highly fitting of the Fairy Tale brand. The character audio and writing are really good, and the soundtrack has no right going as hard as it does. So I'm excited to play more. However, I can't overlook the flimsy foundation of this adventure, which features one of the weaker openings I've played from the developer. Still, there's a vast world to uncover here, and I'm looking forward to concluding this fairy tale arc and maybe even stick around to catch the obligatory beach episode. Fairy Tale 2 is coming to PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and PC on December 13th, 2024. Now, enjoy some gameplay. みんな心配をかけてすまなかった戦争を避けられればとアルバレスに交渉に行ったがわしの策も無意味じゃった
バレスはここに攻めてくる巨大な大国がこのギルドに向かい進軍してくるアルバレス帝国の皇帝はスプリガンこの大陸では最強の黒魔道士として知られるあのゼレフじゃゼレフ書の悪魔エーテリアスを作り出し数々の金鬼の魔法を世に残したのは皆の知っておる通りすみませんねそうね見慣れた場所のはずなのに全然違うところに来ちゃったみたい。誰かが野宿にでも使ったダツ任せろかおいクソホロおい服着てから行ってくれるとりあえずここで一休みで十分休み